Hey guys, so today a bunch of crap came down from Crash Plan, which is one of the big online backup services. Their competitor is Carbonite. I just switched over to Crash Plan about 11 days ago, so I can't imagine that nobody in customer support who I was dealing with for several days back and forth knew that this change was coming. So they went ahead and they let me sign up for their plan, and now they're canceling their home service plan. I've been with Carbonite for seven years or so, and I switched over to Crash Plan because Carbonite for $60, about the same price as uh, Crash Plan, doesn't allow you to back up any external hard drives. You have to pay an extra $40. I used to have all my drives internal. So when I had four terabytes of drives for $60, Carbonite was backing up everything. Now that I switched over to a, a MacBook Pro, none of my external drives count, all the stuff's outside. Only 256 megs is counting toward my online backup that I can have under the $60 for, for Carbonite. On top of that, if I pay $40 to get external data, which is what they call it, external data backed up, then it turns out that that only includes one external hard drive. And if you partition your hard drive, which is a way of breaking up your hard drive so it looks like several hard drives, if you don't do that, don't worry about it. It costs $40, but you only get one external partition on one external, well, one partition on one external hard drive. So basically for $40, you're paying to back up one part of your hard drive if you partition or a full external hard drive. So, in short, you're at $100 compared to what Crash Plan's home plan has been, which is $60 for everything. Like, you can have five or six or, or 10 external hard drives, all partitions, all of those can be backed up. I suppose if you are like really crazy, I do tons of videos for Piper's Fix. We've got a lot of videos, so I'm backing up quite a bit, and they'll take all of it for the $60 on the home plan, but they just canceled that today, 11 days after I signed up. So what Crash Plan is doing is they're going to let you move to their business service for small businesses, which will continue to let you back up all your external drives. But at some point, it's gonna cost you $10 a month. So essentially what they've done is they've taken their $60 home plan and they've made it a business plan for $120 a year. Basically they bill you at $10 a month which is $120 a year. They're gonna extend your plan for two months. So if you have eight months left, you're gonna have 10 months left. Good addition, huh? Um, but if you, like me, just signed up 11 days ago, then basically you're getting almost 14 months. 13 months and two weeks for um, the full rate you signed up for, which is $60 that covers everything. And you move to the business plan right away. So you're gonna have the year of the business plan plus the two months, and then they'll give you a second year for 75% off the plan, the business plan. So for me, it makes it $2.50 per month for another 12 months, $30 for the year on the business plan. So to me, I'm getting almost two years for a total of $90, the $60 original, the $30 for the extended year, and then I'm on that $10 per month plan. So I don't like having to jump backup services, that's why I've been with Carbonite for so long. I do like Carbonite's interface, but that whole external drive issue is a major issue for me. I've got three external drives. One of them I use as a local backup, so two external drives that I need backed up on top of the laptop. So uh, I'm sticking with Crash Plan. I did try Backblaze, for those of you who are trying to figure out if Backblaze is a good option. Didn't like their interface, I was not happy with it. I tried it on the trial, canceled the trial early. Some people love it. Backblaze is $50, I think, for unlimited everything. So take a look at it, but I would be careful because, I mean, I just was not impressed by that one again. I don't get paid for pushing anything, so go with whichever one you like. I'm just trying to give a little bit of extra information because a lot of my relatives and friends ask me what I use for backup stuff since I've got tons of video and stuff that I back up. Um, I found that even though I heard Carbonite speed would be better than Crash Plan, haven't found that to be the case. Um, there's something that says there are no bandwidth caps on the backup with Crash Plan on the business plan, but I asked tech support about that and they said basically a lot of it's processing time because the computer crunches things before it uploads the data. I'm not gonna get into how accurate that statement is, but um, the speed just didn't seem that much different to Carbonite to me, so I'm sticking with Crash Plan for now. So let me know what you guys decide to do as far as a backup solution in the comments below. Um, your input might help somebody else, and if this video helped you at all, please take a second and just thumbs up the video and let me know. Take care, guys.